Well, hello. There's my kitty. What y'all doing? Cleo. Cleo's over there eating. There's Spooky and Speedy. Hey, y'all want some treats as we celebrate this 4th of July or Independence Day? Yes, we will. And there's our old flag. Yep, she's a little tattered and a little faded, but she's hanging out again, at least for today. And that old flag has a lot to say. Let's give the kitty crew some treats so they can be celebrating too. We give them all a little pile right here. And let them have some treats while we talk about the 4th, our Independence Day, and of course, the USA. Ooh, they sure do love those treats y'all send to them. I want to take a little time right now to thank all of you for everything you do for us, me and the kitty crew. Cleo, Spooky, Speedy, and of course, the Princess of the House, Gracie. And on occasion, Heathcliff and Fluffy Muffin too. In the darkness of the night. And as you can see, they leave no treat, go untouched. <laughs> Spooky, he's wanting some love. He's a big old love bug. Aren't you, Spooky? Are you Papa's love bug? Hmm? You are. Looking fine, boy. As is your sister, Speedy, and your mother, Cleo. So, Spooky, you got anything on your mind that you'd want to discuss on this 4th of July in 2024 that maybe you could share with all of us? Talk a little bit about freedoms, what we gave up, and what we might still give up if we don't change our ways. Nothing but silence, huh? Yep. We peoples, we just don't seem to understand. With every freedom that we choose to set aside, puts another one in jeopardy, sometimes down the road too. That is true. So there's the wide thoughts of Spooky on this 4th of July. 2024. Woo! It's still warm out here, isn't it? We probably look a sight. I think we do. We just finished up with our afternoon water. We had to sit down and enjoy a Coke. And of course, they're enjoying their treat. Oh, <laughs> hello there, friends and family. I didn't see you sneak up. But I'm glad you stopped by on the 4th of July. That way we could wish to all of you that hopefully you're celebrating it too with your friends and family where you may ever be in the U.S. of A too. Hopefully you're having a barbecue or family get together or maybe it's just with friends. I know many of us are celebrating alone or so we think so. And like many 4th of Julys, I start thinking about the meaning of it what it means to all of us Americans or what it should mean and for many it doesn't mean as much as it used to that's sad but true and maybe it doesn't mean the same thing I just know what it means to me and I'm going to share a little bit of that with you today you see freedom's a broad word and it's sort of like a two-edged sword what one person thinks is a freedom, another may not. And in all honesty, humankind has never been totally free. Nope, never not once. I mean, I guess you can still go somewhere out there and live all alone without people, without anything, and call that freedom too. But others would call it without any freedom to enjoy what they want to enjoy 
have what they want to have and do what they want to do. But that's where freedom is a two-edged sword. You know, I'd like to say I should be free to do whatever I want to, wherever I want it to happen. But in doing so, I might, in doing so, I might just impede other people's freedoms. They may not want me there, may not want me to do what I think I should do. Yep, freedom's a complicated thing. And I really don't believe there's ever been total freedom. And there surely is not total freedom now. But on this day, July the 4th, we celebrate here in America, our Independence Day. And what's that mean? It was independence from the tyranny that ruled us at that time. And that tyranny was a British king and queen and the British Empire. Yeah, America once belonged to them, a certain portion of it, as well as the Spanish and the French. But we don't actually celebrate when we became free of them. No, nope. on the 4th of July in 1774, we declared our independence from the British crown, the British rule. Humankind has always been fighting tyranny all through the ages, all through time. Well, if it might, wasn't a king or a queen, it was a warlord, an emperor, a pharaoh, what have you. If you're a study, student of history, you'll know. Humankind has always had those kind of realms and reigns all throughout human history. And then what do we go and do? Once we get rid of one, we build another one. Yes, we do. And over the period of my lifetime, I've seen us do just that here in America. Yep, we fought and we won and we broke the bands of tyranny from the British crown and empire. And our forefathers had the best of intentions to not ever allow us to wear the chains again. But over the years, we keep having to put things in place to govern us because we cannot govern ourselves without fighting, killing, stealing, and taking what it's not ours. I guess we humans, we just can't do it. We just can't let people live free. And each year through my life, I've seen us give up a little bit here and a little bit there till we wound up here. People will say you can't even own the property you bought and paid for because you got to pay property taxes on it forevermore and in a way that's true you own it but like all things in your life if you think about it what's not taxed well not the only thing not taxed now is breathing the air and if they get that carbon tax put in well they're going to be charging us for the air or the supposed cleaning up the air to get rid of the CO2. That supposedly is heating up the planet and steadily boiling us alive. I don't know about all that, but that's about the last tax they have. We tax everything they buy some way or another, like in this state. Our food's taxed, our gas taxed, everything's taxed. Our property's taxed, 
Our vehicles are taxed. I can't think of one thing other than breathing that's not taxed. Now some states don't tax food. No, they don't. But they have other ways of filling in those gaps. Like here, we pay tax on our vehicles every year. We pay our property taxes. But even when we buy insurance, we have to pay taxes. Yes, we do. If we earn interest on our savings, which we should all do, what do we got to do? Yep. Pay tax on money that was already taxed. There you go. It's a double taxation in my book. But there's still a lot of freedoms in this country that aren't freedoms in many of others. And for the most part, we got the freedom of speech. But one I think is more, most dear is the freedom of thought. We're still free to think whichever way we want to. And I only add one caveat to that is we should retain the freedom of thought as long as it harms none. That's always been an underlying motto of mine in all my ideas, my beliefs, my thoughts, as long as it harms none then it was a good thing. As we all know, many don't believe that to be true. It's just by the crime and the actions people commit. And yeah, we've had to give up some freedom there too to try to stop all of that. And with each freedom we give up for the safety of our well-being, Yep, it deters the freedoms of others that may have never done a thing. But we got to do it. Keep the ones that would from doing what they would do if they still had the freedom to do as they wish. That's how I think about it in my mind. Yes, I do. And I thought long and hard today about not putting up my old tattered flag. She's been with me a long, long time, this old flag over my right shoulder that still waves on this Independence Day. I wouldn't give her up for a million dollars. That old flag's been with me almost all my life. There's no money amount in the world that could buy her from me. She's seen me through my toughest times my poorest times and my best of times. She's seen me grow up from a young man that didn't know much to hopefully an older man that knows just a little bit more. And like I try to tell people now when they ask me how I'm doing, well, you know, I say I'm doing the best I can be. When they ask me, do I think I'm a better person? I say, well, I try to be a better person today than I was yesterday. But what's all that have to do about July the 4th and freedom? Well, that's where we get back to that one freedom so far they can't take away. And that's the freedom of thought. You see, here in America, we're blessed with a constitution that gives us certain inalienable rights. But even here in recent years, those have come under attack too. All in the name of safety. But when we look back how they sell us these things, it's always sold to us for our safety or for the embitterment for all. They just take property tax. That was originally proposed to fund the schools. Well, then they come up with a sales tax. And they sold us that too. That the majority of that would be for the schools. You would think with all of that, 
we'd have some of the best schools on the entire planet. But sadly, we don't. Maybe having the best schools isn't all about the money, but about what is taught and how it's taught. I'm an engineer, and I know this. There was more built, more invented, and more ideas when all we had was a slide rule, pencil, paper, and a chalkboard than there's ever been now. And all we were taught is writing, reading, and arithmetic. That was the core basis of our education. Yeah, we were taught things like the Pledge of Allegiance. Many think that's bad now, but I don't. I think you should pledge yourself to something. Might as well be the country they call home. We had to learn songs by heart. Songs like American the Beautiful. And sadly, I'll say I've forgotten more of it than I'd like to think I should. Another one is our national anthem. They don't even play it at many sports games anymore. And it used to be what every sports game started out with. You'd hear the national anthem. You'd stand up, cross your heart, and look at the flag and sing along. You don't see much of that anymore. And people boo now and take a knee. When those of us who choose the freedom to sing along. You see what I mean about freedom? Where one person's freedom may not be another person's. They might think wrong. With every year, I think about this more and more. But the more I think about it, I think about the America we're leaving our children and our grandchildren. And, I, you know, a lot of people say we're a lot better off and the land's a lot better life with technology and all this glorious stuff that we've left to them to carry on. I would have to say I'm not of that opinion. Yeah, I'm coming to you this day on something that wasn't available 20 years ago. Yeah, we had video cameras, but they were big and clunky. And they didn't go on the internet. You had to record them, put them in a VCR, all gather around and view them on a TV. Yeah, but they weren't as intrusive and all time consuming as what we've got now. And even this video camera I'm holding now isn't in obtrusive and take away a lot of my freedom is the final invention that has taken so much freedom away from all of us too. And in my mind, that's the cell phone. All the hours of people's life I see consumed now wherever I go, staring into the small screen. And I wonder what productive things they could do if it wasn't for that small screen that they unknowingly don't know is taking their freedom away to you. But they would say it's their freedom. Just watch and spend as much time as they want to. Yep, that's where freedom always comes back to that double-edged sword. But I still have the freedom to walk my property day or night sit out on my front porch, have my kitty crew, say somewhat cool in the summer, and somewhat warm in the winter. I got food in my belly. May not be as much or as good as it once was, 
But that's not so much the government taking the freedom to eat as we choose away. That's the massive conglomerates and corporations that now control our food supply. You might say the government let them do it. But, in fact, we the people let the government just stand back and let them do it too. You see, because the one thing I always think about when I see these freedoms we supposedly hold so dear be eroded away is those three words that start out we the people because when it all comes down to it in my mind if you want to blame anybody for this whole thing whether you think it's fine or a mess it's those three words that explain it all we the people there's not a member we that's ever sat in office whether it's city town county state or the federal government that we the people didn't put in there and that's a fact many of us don't want to take the responsibility for the actions that we took but i'm honest I know there's been times in my life when I chose wrong and I stood idly by. Maybe you have too. Yep. That's about all I got to say about freedom. As I'm going to sit out here and ponder it and enjoy a Coke. Yes, by Lordy. I still got the freedom to drink a Coke if I want to. I know I shouldn't because I've got that prostate cancer and sugar feeds cancer. But on our Independence Day, my celebration is going to be a hamburger, some french fries, and an ice cold Coke. And I'm good with that. In fact, it makes me happy. Maybe you'll tell me in the comments below the video just what you had today for your 4th of July celebration meal and maybe who you shared it with hopefully like I say it was with your friends and family if not remember you're never alone you always have Father God if you choose to accept him so yep I gotta get in it's getting close to kitty child time and they're gonna have a festive treat too they're going to get a couple of cans of friskies, poultry pate, because they just love it more than even chicken tenders. So we're going to splurge, and they're going to celebrate too. And I'm going to spend the rest of the day into the evening hours, and I'm going to watch some rockets regular because there'll be fireworks tonight. You can count on that. And I'll listen to them as they burst in the air. And I'll remember that fateful night when we all wondered, was our flag still there? Oh, yes. Can you see if those broad stripes and bright stars still wave? I'm ashamed to say I, I don't know what the Star Spangled Banner. As good as I once did. But I think I'm going to relearn it and put it to what memory I have left. And I'll call that little consequence. So hey y'all. Continue your day. Celebrate as you will with your loved ones, your friends and family too. Maybe put a little thought in to what this day means. What we fought against and what we built. And are we building something better or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below the video. So yep, 
we got to get her on in where it's cool. Because it's hotter than a tutu. 92 out here with about 81% humidity. Oh yeah. I may not be able to see her wave over the ramparts as the rockets burst in the air. But I can see her wave over my front porch today. Enjoying the breeze and being free. Right, Spooky? So let's head her on in. And until we see you again on the next episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood, y'all take care. Stay safe out there. Be as free as you wish. As long as it harms none. May God bless you all. As you bless those in your life. You know we love you. For everything you do. And we hope these videos. Show our love for you. Yep. Got to pick more blueberries in the morning. Yeah. Even picking takes a little bit of freedom away from your day. Later all.